In this video, we will introduce how to use password management. This includes the benefits of password management, the browser extension, and the AuthPoint mobile app. To start, what does password management bring us? Mainly, it allows users to have a password vault either through a browser extension or the AuthPoint app. So now users can start practicing proper password security more easily. Concepts like using unique passwords, random generation, longer character counts, and dark web monitoring. While at the same time, providing ease of use, like autofill, recommended passwords, and other functions to make users' internet browsing easier. To explain some of this, let's start with the browser extension. This will be supported on Edge, Chrome, Firefox, and Safari through their respective extension stores. I'll show you what the process looks like in Edge, but if you use another browser, you can find the installation process in our documentation. I'll go up to my settings in Edge, then open extensions. From here, I can then choose to open our add-ons. Then I'll search for WatchGuard. We should see this AuthPoint extension here that I will get and choose to add the extension. Now, when I look at my extensions, it will be listed here. If I want to make this easier to use in the future, I can choose to show in the toolbar here. Now it will always be accessible at the top of the browser. Now that I have that extension, I can log into it. Before I log in though, I must be logged into my IDP portal or a SAML resource. The IDP portal looks generally like this, but with different applications listed as tiles in this box. If this page doesn't look familiar to you, then reach out to your IT team for the instructions to reach this. After I am logged in, I can then log into the extension. The first time a user logs into the password manager, they must set a vault password. This vault password will be associated with your user, so if you want to access your vault from the mobile app or another browser, that same password will be used. Next, we will get to a very important step, the recovery key. This is the only time this key will appear, so it must be saved now. What this key allows us to do is reset our vault password in case we ever forget it. So store this in a safe place. If you ever need to reset your password in the future, a new recovery key is created. So make sure that one is stored in a secure place as well. Once we have secured the recovery key, we can now access our vault. There isn't anything here yet, but we can start adding credentials. For example, I can navigate to a website and try to log into it. You'll see these new icons appear. They'll show your credentials if they are in the vault already, or you can switch to password generator to help create new randomly generated credentials. For example, I'll create a new WatchGuard account. After receiving the confirmation email, I can start adding my credentials. But instead of typing something in here that I have maybe used in a bunch of other places, I can simply click this little icon and see a randomly generated suggestion. I can look at the advanced settings if I want more parameters. For example, I can make it longer, choose all characters or specifically easy to type ones, and some other choices here. I'll use this password and continue filling out my account details. When I go to save the details, a pop-up will appear on the page asking if you want to save this in your vault, which I do. I can choose private or corporate, so I'll add this to my corporate account. You'll also notice that it did not capture my username. Depending on the web page, it may not always accurately capture that. So I can either now or later choose to edit, add in the accurate information, and then save. Now when I continue to log in, you'll see that it auto-filled my details for me. Now, of course, building all of my credentials in this way can be done, but if I have years worth of credentials saved up in another location, I want to be able to bring them into this new tool. I can import my existing credentials from another locker or repository like many browsers already do. For example, in Edge, I can go to my settings, passwords, then I can choose to export my passwords here. I only have one, but I can export all of them at once by clicking this option, then export passwords. I'll export this file and then save it on my computer. One thing to note is this file does have all of your credentials in plain text. So do not share this file with anyone and store it in a secure location. Once I have that file, I can then in my browser extension, choose to import, choose edge, enter my vault password, and choose if I want this private credentials, which is intended for personal use, or corporate credentials, more intended for work. I'll choose private because this file may include credentials to social media sites, banking, or any other web resource. I can then take that file pulled from Edge and import it back into my vault. Then choose to continue. You'll see how many accounts were imported and I am done. Now if I go back to my extension, you'll see that under my passwords, 
the imported credentials is here. Or of course, if I don't have anything to import, I can add them manually, just select add password and add the details here. Over time, as you build out this password vault, it is a good idea to export your credentials to another secure location. This is important because if you leave the company that has provided you this password vault, or if there's a problem with your user account, it is possible to lose access to this vault. So to export the credentials, go to the settings, then export data. One thing to know is only private credentials are exported in this way. There's one last thing I want to cover in the browser extension before I change topics. That is with shared credentials. On the user side, when a credential is shared with you, a red little notification bubble will appear in the extension. When you open that, you will notice the bubble over our options, then sharing center. Here you'll see the credentials shared with you. Click the green check mark to accept, then they are in your corporate credentials. Now when I click on this, it will take me to the link and autofill the credentials for me. While there is more I could talk about in the extension, I want to pivot over to the AuthPoint mobile app. When you open the app, you'll see an option called Password Manager. If you haven't signed into the Password Manager before, it will prompt you to set a vault password, just like the extension. Once you log in, you'll see a very similar interface. Your password saved in the extension will be here as well. This is useful for browsing on your phone with the same autofill options. In addition, this is also useful because the AuthPoint app can work in an offline state. I can put my phone into airplane mode and my credentials are still here. So I don't need to access the IDP portal first to see what I have stored. This leads us into the key takeaways. The password manager is a great tool to start proper password management. It has all of the tools you would want to start reinforcing proper password creation, storage, and usage. The recovery key needs to be saved to reset your vault password. Without this recovery key, there is no way to reset your vault password. If you cannot log into your vault, then those credentials are lost. Which of course means it is important to export your password vault to somewhere else. That way, if you lose access to the vault, you can import your credentials back into the vault when your account is recreated.